Welcome guys to a brand new video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. So you're going to be seeing me post a lot more content on this game, uh, on Nikkei, simply because I am enjoying the game obviously, and also because of the collaboration that is actually happening very, very soon. So we do know the exact release date, which is on the 21st, which is extremely exciting. Um, I will be making a bunch of videos where I summon for the characters, get those characters, test those characters out, should you summon, and whatever. Now obviously you want to summon for every single collab characters because it's one and done. Uh, once they get released, they probably won't ever come back again. And you obviously want to make your accounts good because if you don't get those characters, let's say in the future, future characters get released that actually buff that character and they make them absolutely insane, but now you can't get them, it's going to suck for you. So I always recommend getting the collab characters and in today's video what we're going to be focusing on is getting resources or preparing for the collaboration. There is multiple ways you can prepare for the collaborations and that's what I'm going to be showcasing in today's video. My preparation and what you guys should also be doing. So 21st we have about 7 days before the um, collab comes. Now I will make a separate video as well going over whether you should go hard on a collaboration when we do know that in April we're going to have our anniversary, our half anniversary which is also very very important because there's going to be a new pilgrim character that you absolutely want to get as well it's a very very difficult time for free to play players but i hope you guys are prepared i know there's been a recent lot of banners that you guys probably summoned on but i hope you guys were prepared before i carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on the k goddess of victory and let's get right into it so obviously the first thing you want to do when you know you know a new banner is coming out is to get flipping resources now how do you get resources for those of you guys who still you know are unsure or you maybe forgotten one aspect well when you get new characters you need to go over to the advice section you advise them to all the way to level 10 and then you have resources to get so as you can see i recently pulled d it's been a while since i actually pulled a new character so hey um actually very very good way to get resources she's actually smoking hot guys she is literally my favorite waifu in this game like forget any of the pilgrim character a simple outfit like this she looks like a wife she, she she's amazing um let me go ahead and give all these resources in here so um we're gonna dump all of this i always buy this from the shop by the way which i highly recommend you guys do every single time as well so um let's just keep buying this stuff bam 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 we're gonna pump this all the way to rank 10 now you don't have to do it all at once simply because you can you know well come back every single day to passively level this up because you get given 10 chance um 10 chances to do so um well i want to claim the rewards right now so i'm gonna do this so there we go now all we need to do is go over to here and claim this so i don't read the story i'm not a what the flip it's windy out yo i have to go meet my okay anyways um what was i saying so yeah get all those resources i don't read story i'm not a story guy i'm just uh yo they look cool i love that type of guy um, okay, so we get more resources over here. So that is 50 for five episodes. So 50 times five is 250. So 250 um, gems from over here. Very, very nice. And if you guys have any other characters, make sure you take a look at it and do it. Uh, with liberation characters, you don't need to do it because they, they don't give you rewards, by the way. You already claimed it already, so there's no point. Um, that's what I've noticed. Um, I got Tove over here that I can still do as well so there we go i'm just not gonna level it up with my you know gifts i'm just gonna do this instead um so i'm gonna make sure i do this for every single character that give me resources so let's see is there any other ones i'm missing no i haven't got any new characters recently so I, it would make sense why i've technically leveled up everyone so yep everyone is leveled up that sucks that absolutely sucks um that's fine um what we want to do now is to go over to events so yesterday the events kind of uh open up the hard mode up open up so i can go ahead and do this now besides only well, actually no to get gems as well besides that is obviously as you get stronger and you, with your accounts you have tribe tower now tribe tower is something i always forget to do simply because i just forget <laughs> i just simply forget but i have yesterday what i did unfortunately i didn't record it but 
Essentially what I did was push up 10 floors with the Tribe Tower. I have totally forgotten about Tribe Tower and I was able to auto literally this all the way to the floor I am in right now, which I'm pretty sure I can beat as well. So let's see. Yeah, I can pretty much beat this as well. So I'm going to do this later on, but I will get a lot of gold from um, gems from here as well, which is pretty useful. And don't also forget about this ones over here, which I also, once again, I totally forget to do. And... Uh, I think I should be able to do this actually. Yeah, make sure you do this. Uh, refresh is actually re reset is really soon as well. I actually need to make sure I prepare. Um, anyways, so you get your. Oh, I also have lost sector to do. I I don't like doing lost sector. It takes too much uh, time. But it's the only one I can do right now. The rest I haven't completed story. Actually, once again, sorry. Oh, that's a voice crack. Once again, I haven't done the campaign as well. I haven't actually pushed forward. Uh, so I'm guessing I should be strong enough to oh, I absolutely Absolutely can beat this. Oh my days. So I got campaign to beat through. So what floor am I in? Uh, or what campaign? So I'm campaign 26. I got 27 28 perfect. I got hard one as well Perfect. So before the collaboration starts, that's all things I'm gonna do to make sure I get all the gems I, I require um Another way uh, that to prepare for the collaboration is to have your synchro slots available. So there's going to be three characters you will be able to get from the collaboration. Um, one of them is an SR, two of them is SSR. One of them is an SR unit which you can get for free. Um, the SSR ones are the ones you need to summon for Amelia and I think it's... Who is the other character? Let me quickly go over to Twitter. Um, I totally forgot to use the other character you can get. Uh, Nikkei go over to recent announcement so ram oh ram is the purple um the red hair chick is it red pink yeah pink hair chick okay fine um so ram is the one that's free and she's an sr so ram and emilia are the two characters and as you can see i have synchro slots available for them perfect um is there anyone i would rather remove in here that i don't need let's see no nah, all of them i actually use I'd love to unlock more synchro slots, but I'm just like flat broke and recently my luck has been absolutely shite. Oh, yeah, don't forget this as well. Um, I haven't been doing this. Um, I've forgotten what this one actually gives you. What does this give? Does it give gems? If it gives gems, that would be cool. Um, no, it doesn't. That sucks. Okay, but also just do that in general because you want gifts as well for your um, abnormal characters. Um, also, going over to shop um because every single day it's important that you do buy this which sometimes i do forget to do but uh go ahead and get the free ones perfect and i always buy this because i always have a lot of credits so buy this perfect um refresh always use this what else can i get same thing okay that's fine perfect um okay i sometimes forget to do corp um forget to do this simply because it doesn't show up in my screen and I forget to actually you know click it um, sometimes I need this as well so the red ones I need to buy perfect oh and this one's as well perfect just you don't know if you're gonna require that so hey buying that is gonna be very useful um, for this one I usually just buy this which is fine um, let's see nothing else perfect um, let's go over to here Okay, so solo raid is actually going away. It's very important that you guys do this as well. You want to rank relatively high as well um, because this is where you can get more gems. Make sure you're doing your arena as well because arena will eventually reset when the uh, when the update is here. So the collab characters. So make sure you rank really, really high. Um, well, I could try it, but let me see. I could try rank high, but are there people who are fighting? Yeah, there's a lot of really strong people. Yeah, I don't think I'm strong enough to deal with this. Yo, I've not even gone over free level 300. Damn, flip me. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay where I am. There's no point in me trying to, you know, stress myself. So I'm gonna stay there and just get the rewards from there. Um, how much gems can I actually get? That's something I want to check. Um, so let me go check quick, quick. So rewards, uh, there we go. So 1,600, so I'm technically losing 400, but you know what, I don't care. It's, it's gonna save me peace of mind. 
uh, so that's perfect so resources oh absolutely so refresh oh damn it's really soon so make sure you do your interception as well because you need abnormal gear but i'm pretty sure all of you guys already have abnormal gear because the game likes to curse all of us and give us a lot of abnormal gear um i think amelia might be a damage dealer to be honest uh simply because well there has to be one damage dealer and one support or like one that could be a defender unit but actually act like an attacker so typically there's one support one attacker uh, i would be really surprised if both of them are attackers um but it is what it is also make sure you get your resources for your skills as well very important um so yeah that's me preparing for the collaboration i need to make sure i do this every single day because recently i do forget to do certain stuff um but gems i need to get at least 20k i'm not sure if i'm gonna summon or i'm just gonna save all my resources for the um an half anniversary and then use my gold mileage tickets so my gold mileage tickets I have a lot as well. Let me show you. 1,000. So, technically not really a lot because two characters. I'm going to have to use this for two characters. Uh, depending on how bad my luck is with my gems, I might get absolutely shafted. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I should summon on the on the collab characters because the rates are 4% compared to like 2% for the pilgrim character, actually. It would be better rate-wise. You know what? Yeah, I will summon. I will summon and potentially just save this for the anniversary. But anyways, that is it in terms of preparing for the ReZero collaboration. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.